Hi, it's Sarah Taylor. Hi, guys. Um, I'm just showing you some artwork here that I'm actually putting on a bit of a clearance. Um, so this is called Hybrid, and it's a pair of 12 by 36 inch canvases set in these custom maple frames. And I do have a video on the making of these also on my channel. I will link that up above. And if you head over to my website, I'm taking 30% off uh, a collection of art from 2022. And this is called Boomerang. So it's a pair of 20 by 24 inch canvases set in white floating frames. And they do have a coat, two coats actually, of um, art coat, stone coat, epoxy resin. I really loved this pair. Um, they they are sister paintings. They're not like they don't match, and I really like that about them. And up next, this is a painting called Paper Plane that I just adore. Um, it was inspired by an artist I really love. His name is Josh Jensen, and kind of my spin on the technique a little bit, just using a bit of a. It's uh, oil pastels and some very fluid acrylic paints, and I used my GAC Magic recipe here and some color art primary elements to get a lot of really cool blending. And it's also in a custom solid maple frame. And the, these maple frames were made by a friend of mine. They've got a solid black um, interior. And this is a painting called Lahaina that I've had around for a while. It's been hung at a few different shows. I've had a lot of interest in it, but it's still with me. Uh, I just love it. It kind of has this tropical, like it reminds me of like a, a, a lily that I, that you would find on, on Maui. Uh, Lahaina is a town on Maui on the Hawaiian islands. Really beautiful detail here. Like the gold really shines through and it's got these turquoise and red veins running through it. And then this one I've also had for a little while. Um, this was part of the project that I did with Rinska Downa, <clears throat> the Miracle Life Project. It's called Duality. And uh, it's just a very, very kind of modern, monochromatic, but has this beautiful interference gold running through it as well. And I adore this painting as well. It's um, one that's actually kind of hard to let go of. However, I do create art in the, with the intention to send it out into the world. So this one's also on my website with um, that 30% off code as well. This one has my 2022 signature on it, as they all do. And oh my goodness, one of my favorites, this one is called Nomad, also set in one of those custom maple frames. Uh, this was just a really fluid, kind of wild freeform abstract painting um, use, using lots of this high iridescent copper. Uh, it's got a really, really cool feel to it. These kind of burgundies and browns and coppers and magenta colors running through it. Uh, really, it's powerful in person. Love this painting. And next is, oh, this is called Upstream. This was kind of a really fun, I had a whole bunch of paints and I put this canvas on a spinner and really had a great time creating this painting. It's got, it's just really like energetic and lively and I think it's really fun. Um, lots of quinacridone Nicolazo golds. And then it's just got this kind of interesting composition. It kind of reminded me of a river. Um, I see a fish in this painting kind of up at the top. So yeah, and that's a 24 by 36 inch. The last three Lahaina duality, this one were all 24 by 36 inch. And the specs are all on my website as well. Uh, this painting is called Wonderland, and it was a. Uh, I did Wonderland and Alice. Um, kind of had this like. 
mystical. It just reminded me of that childhood movie for some reason, just kind of the whimsy of it, the drama. It's a little bit dark, kind of strange. Um, and I love it. The purples, the blues, the, it's got this dark burnt umber kind of as the base. And there's just some really cool details in this painting. And this is a 30 by 40 inch canvas, also in that solid maple frame. Pretty cool movement to this piece. I really like it. I hope you like it too. <laughs> oh, and this is its little counterpart called Alice. So very similar color palette to Wonderland. Um, and it's just smaller. It's a 20 by 24 inch. And I put it actually in a white maple or a white floating frame. And it's got a lot of the similar movement. Kind of this was, I did this piece first right before I did the bigger one. And this one, I actually use more of this kind of iridescent pearl. So in the light, it's, it catches a lot of iridescence. It's really cool in different lighting. Kind of a fun little painting. And that's it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Take great care. Bye.